Hello, and welcome to Writing School. Or should that be Writing's Cool? Because it is. I'm Richard Vobes, and I'm an author, and I'm going to share with you how to improve your stories, how to improve your writing. If this is your first time here, you might want to subscribe. That way, you'll never miss an episode and there's lots to learn. This is lesson number four. It's all about the plot. Today, we're talking about plotting. The plot is the nuts and bolts of our story. It is what happens. If you take away the flowery description and remove the stimulating dialogue, you're left with the plot the things that actually happen. For example, take the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill. That's all plot. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill went tumbling after. As a story, it's, well, a little simplistic, but in terms of plot, it's got all the ingredients. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Jack and Jill climb a hill to fetch this pail of water. Quite why they go to the top of a hill to get some water, we never really find out because water doesn't normally collect at the top of a hill. It's normally right down at the bottom. But no matter, this is what they intended to do, to climb the hill. And so that is our beginning. Jack had a terrible accident and he fell down and bumped his head. That is our middle. And then poor Jill, she slips too and tumbles down that hill. That is our end. Usually the middle of our story is a lot longer. The beginning is short, the middle is longer, and then the ending is quite short. So our plot needs a beginning, a middle, and an end. That way, it makes it satisfying to read. So let's suppose that we want to expand on our Jack and Jill story, shall we? So just to recap, the beginning is where Jack and Jill decide that they need some water and they think the best place to go is the top of the hill. That's the beginning. Now the middle bit is where they actually set off. They might need, first of all, a bucket, preferably one without a hole. Although that's another nursery rhyme. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. We won't go into that yet. Getting to the hill might be a problem. It may be far away. It may be incredibly tall. They may need some mountaineering equipment. Perhaps they've got to get to the hill on the donkey, riding along. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. Maybe there's a huge fence surrounding the hill that they've got to get over first before they can even climb it. Then comes the active climbing bit where they need to gather their strength and clamber up. Maybe it's mountainous and full of rocks and they've got to clamber over great big boulders. It's very hard and it's very tough and the sun is beating down on them. The wind is whirling around them. Near the end of the middle, we have this terrible accident where Jack suddenly, ah, ah, oh, he slips and falls down the hill. Poof, oh, ouch, he bumps his head. That's our middle bit of the story. All done. And now for the end. The end of the story is quite tragic. We don't really know what happens to poor old Jack or Jill. Not in the first verse anyway. But at some point, Jill notices Jack has tumbled down. Oh no! And then the ground moves or something happens for we know that she slips. And the next thing, she has gone tumbling down also. That is the end of our story. It's a little bit macabre, but there are other verses which make it all right. But for our example, the story gives us a beginning, a middle, and an end. And that's what makes the story interesting and also satisfying for the reader. Time for some homework. Think of another nursery rhyme and see if you can work out where the beginning, the middle, and the end is. And if you want, write up the story going into detail about the middle part. 
you can add your comments below. I look forward to seeing those. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? And then you won't miss an episode. In the meantime, thanks for watching Writing School. Or is that Writing's Cool? Because it is. And I'll see you on the next lesson. Goodbye.